Hi everyone, I'm here to give an introduction of my, where my research interests come from. You can see the title of why I choose remote sensing of ecology. So my research focuses on remote sensing of ecology. And first I want to tell you something about the relationship or the bonds between remote sensing and me. Actually, the first time I heard this term, remote sensing, was when I just finished my college entrance examination. And I want to choose a major that is advanced and technical. So one of my relatives recommended me to study uh, remote sensing technique. Then I entered the School of Remote Sensing and Information Engineering of Wuhan University. But I only learned some basic concepts of remote sensing because my secondary major was photogrammetry, which was required by the department for graduation. But it's hard to believe that uh, my secondary major was selected by random, which means if the department has um, 90 students, 30 students are selected to study GIS, and 30 are selected to study remote sensing, and the rest have to study photogrammetry. So I was selected to study photogrammetry, but until I graduated, I finally realized I don't like photogrammetry at all. <laughs> if I had a chance, I would have selected uh, remote sensing. So I go to the Institute of Remote Sensing and the Digital Earth Chinese Academic of Sciences. And um, here I found my interest of remote sensing data application, especially on some environmental and ecological research. After reading some papers and uh, taking some relevant courses, I find remote sensing has so many advantages, especially for um, ecological research. People can monitor planet change with smart temporal, continuous, and large-scale observation. So I followed my previous advisor to do some relevant research about the plant theology of China, and you can see the Lower left picture is showing the results I, that I established a new screen philology model using remote sensing data. And the lower left, lower right part is showing that, that I improved an ecological model for forest ecosystem carbon dynamics. And now I'm here. <laughs> and I'm so glad I learned some skills and backgrounds for remote sensing of ecology. So I want to dig deeper and try to connect current activities and especially climate change with some global climate change. And uh, um, everyone has noticed the fire in Australia. Uh, we, I hope um, the people and the animals here can get through this disaster. And I also wrote about the carbon dioxide for this fire, which may lead to some potential damage for future climate, and especially the global carbon dynamics. So I want to do some research on this, and um, I'm so glad that my advisor, Professor De Shen, supported me to do this kind of research. He said I can do whatever I want, and um, so uh, that's my story, and uh, thank you.